note it down note it down note it down note very important everyone financial statement version nothing but financial statement version nothing but to design the financial statements in the bracket profit and loss account and balance sheet financial statement version nothing but to design the financial statement in the bracket profit and loss account and balance sheet profit and loss account and balance sheet Next line, note it down. Put the star and note it down. Next line, note it down. Put the star and note it down. To execute the financial statements, to execute the financial statements, year end activity, year end activity. year end activity <clears throat> everyone i can ask one question everyone later i can give you some more note i can ask one question uh, everyone completed uh, sap fico then i will ask one question what is mean by chart of accounts anyone raise the hand Anyone tell me what is meant by chart of accounts? Cancel list of GL master data. Package. Please speak louder. What is mean? Elaborate it. What is meant by chart of accounts? Uh, chart of account contains a list of uh, GL master data, which is required by the organization. Very good. Very good. So chart of accounts means list of GL master data. who have different, different types of chart of accounts. So the chart of accounts things you people already learn on SAP FICO on the global parameters. Yes or no? Answer is yes. Example, example. Once again, you try to understand what is the chart of accounts flow? How look like? What is the chart of accounts flow? How look like? Example, everyone, for example, first, first, what we will do in the chart of accounts, what we will do. Let's try to understand everyone. If you want to do financial statement configuration, chart of accounts is playing the crucial role. Okay, try to understand the first chart of accounts flow. So first, what we do? First, we will create chart of accounts. So what is the T code example OB13? On OB13, we will create the chart of accounts. And next, what we will do? This chart of accounts, we are assigned to our company code. This chart of accounts, we are assigned to our company code. Example, this chart of accounts, we are assigned to our company code. Then under this chart of accounts, what we will do? We will create accounts group, GL accounts group. What we will do? We will create accounts groups, GL accounts group. What is the T code for that example? OB default. So under this accounts group, under this accounts group, what we will do? We will create the GLs. We will create the GLs. Rent account, cash account, commission received account, 
reconciliation accounts, blah, 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 XYZ. What we will do, we will create the GLs. Example, where we will create the GLs? Example, on FS double chain. So based on the GL accounts, based on the GL accounts, what we will do? We will post the document entries. We will post the document entries or accounting entries. Document entries or accounting entries. Based on the accounting entries, we will generate the reports. Based on the accounting entries or document entries, we will generate the reports. Everyone, listen, don't write. Don't write, just listen. I will give you time to write, just listen. This is the chart of accounts flow. This is the chart of accounts flow actually. What we will do? First, we will create the chart of accounts. Then this chart of accounts, we are assigned to our accounts group. Accounts group, indirect expenses, like sundry debitor, sundry creditor, capital. So where you will create this accounts group, T code is called OBD4. Under the accounts group, we will create the GLs, rent account, cash account, commission paid account, reconciliation account, blah, 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 X, Y, Z. We will create the GLs. Based on the GLs, we will post the document entries. Based on the document entries, we will generate the reports. So what it is, what it is? It is the flow of chart of accounts. What it is? It is the flow of chart of accounts. Sir, this one we already understood, sir. Why you are telling? We want to understand FSV. Then why you are telling this? Everyone, this is the magic. Everyone, to note it down, note it down, everyone. To configure, to configure FSV, note it down, put the star and note it down. To configure FSV, T code OB58. To run the FSV, T code F.01. First, note it down, whatever I am telling. Note it down, whatever I am telling. Uh, when, sir, could you please repeat, please? Note it down. To configure FSV, T code OB58. To run the FSV, T code F.01. T code F.01. F.01. Then you people want to ask one question. Everyone, concentrate here. Sir, sir, what we will do in the F.58, sorry, OB58. What we will do in the OB58? How we will execute the financial statement in F.01? Sir, I want to show that. You can execute in SAP. Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Concentrate here, everyone. So whatever accounts group you created in OBD4, everyone, very important, everyone. Whatever accounts group you created in OBD4, that accounts group you are going to map in OB58. Where you will going to map or assign or accounts group mapping. Accounts group mapping. Mapping. So where you will going to map? T code is called OB58. Financial statement version configuration. So what is the main motto here? What is the main motto here? Here the main motto is whatever accounts group you created in OBD4. 
that accounts group you are going to assign in OB58. So based on this mapping, based on this mapping, we are going to execute, execute the FSV, execute the FSV, execute the FSV, FSV, financial statement version. What is the T code? T code is called F dot, F dot zero one. So what happened here? Let's try to understand the flow. Under accounts group, we are creating the GLs. Based on the GLs, the accounting entries will go into post. Based on the accounting entries, this value will go into reports. The value will go into generating. Here, reports will come. So this accounts group, we are going to map in the OB58. So based on this mapping, we are executing the FSV. So all the values in the all the values will going to reflecting here. All the values will going to reflecting here. This is the my target. All the values will reflecting here. Everyone note it down this. Please note it down, everyone. Done, noted everyone. Yes, no, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, yes. done, right? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Good. good, sir. Good, good. So, um, means wherever you learn SAP FICO, so you, you people already created chart of accounts, you people already created accounts group, you people already created the GLs and you already, I mean, posted some document entries and you already generated different, different type of reports like vendor line item, customer line item, GL line item, like asset related reports, all the reports you already generated. But these values, all the values, expenses, income, asset, liabilities, all the values I want to execute as a financial statement version how it will going to generate it. So my target is, so this accounts group, you want like OB58 T code. Example, everyone, concentrate here, everyone, concentrate here. Concentrate here, everyone, example. So on FSV configuration, on FSV configuration, how look like? On FSP configuration, how look like? Everyone, before going to do the FSP configuration, everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Concentrate here, very important, everyone. Example, example, you are the Wipro employee. You are the Wipro employee as a consultant. As a consultant. 
and you are implementing you are implementing uh, jm group of company jm group of company so who is this jm group of company who is this jm group of company this is your client this is your client and wipro is i am i am the wipro employee example i am telling i am the wipro employee jm group of company is my client then you want to ask your client you want to ask your client if you execute financial statement example if you execute balance sheet how many sub modules is required example everyone what you observed in the balance sheet what objectives you observed in the balance sheet anyone unmute and speak one person example what sub module one is liabilities and assets under liabilities what you observed current liabilities and long term liabilities yes or no in the fixed asset and under assets we observed fixed asset and current, current asset. assets in case again even our client is requesting current assets also i want to divide it and uh, different named as a different different convention you can based on that you can separate it how many objectives they want example even expenses also expenses and incomes also so how many objectives they want that thing you can find out you can ask your client as a consultant you you want to set up your client you want to set up the calls your client then you need to ask your client so under business balance sheet how many sub objectives you required under profit and loss account how many sub objectives you required example profit and loss account one side is expenses one side is income under income how many sub objectives you want if you want or no i i required only two then okay no i required many then okay so how to do the configuration for that <clears throat> example everyone concentrate here everyone concentrate here i will tell you example everyone concentrate here everyone let let's try to understand example how the configuration look like and fsv configuration divided into two types fsv configuration divided into two types one is uh, balance sheet and uh, profit and loss profit and loss account and the balance sheet is divided into again two types balance sheet is divided into again two types what is that one is assets and liabilities and liabilities liabilities assets and liabilities assets and liabilities and in case third i want to some more assets also i want to divide it into two parts fixed assets and current asset in case if they want you can divide it in case if they want you can divide it no problem in case if you want you can divide it assets divided into two types one is fixed assets and current asset current asset sir this liabilities also i want to divide more in case if you divide it no sir liability is fine then you can keep it example this profit and loss account so in case liabilities you want to divide yes no if you want okay we want example liabilities divided into two uh, long term liabilities and short term liabilities example long term liabilities and short term liabilities short term liabilities you can write full form right 
long term liabilities and short term liabilities long term liabilities and short term liabilities short term liabilities okay so like this in case again long term liabilities divided into two you can if you want you can do like that where you are doing this activity on ob58 on ob58 you want to design fsv for financial statement version nothing but it is the design of the financial statements profit and loss account and balance it profit and loss account and the balance it and sir, a statement of cash flow or a statement of stockholder. Go on mute. Go on mute. Please go on mute. Okay, please. I will give you time to speak, sir. Don't disturb to others. <coughs> so, everyone, everyone, if you have anything you have knowledge, please wait. I can give you time. That time you can share. Okay, don't disturb in between. Please, sir. Guys, are you following what I'm telling? Yes, no, okay. Okay, okay. Other people, yes, no, okay. Following everyone, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. So, everyone, now, uh, example this profit and loss account again divided into two types. Example again divided into two types. Example, I want uh, expenses. Uh, example, I want, uh, I want expenses. Let it be somehow. Some space is required. Some more space is required. So here, here we require expenses and incomes. And incomes. And incomes. So under the expenses, again, if you want to divide, you can divide it, sub objectives. No, sir, that's fine, uh, that my client is enough for this. So this is called accounts objectives. What we are called, we are called as a account objectives. Under this account objectives, we will assign the accounts group. So under fixed asset, we are assigning fixed asset accounts group. Fixed asset accounts group. So, what is the accounts group? Whatever accounts group you created on T code OBD4, whatever accounts group you created on OBD4, that accounts group you want to assign here. Here, here. Like this, you need to map. Like this, you need to map here accounts group. Okay. In case if you want, you can do that. Accounts. So guys, please note it down. Based on this, we will make it as a configuration. We need to do the configuration like this. Why, who, who tell this? Your client will be suggest you how they want. How they want, they will suggest you. I want in my profit and loss account balance sheet. So this many objectives is required. So we will make as a account objectives. First, we will create the account objectives. Under the account objectives, we will going to assign in accounts group. Please note it down, everyone. So please wait uh, two minutes, everyone. Let's configure. After that, I will give you time to ask the doubts. Please, my dear friends.
and noted everyone after completed please send message then we will do the configuration Very good, Umesh Garu. Done everyone? Yeah, done. <clears throat> so now my target is to do the configuration. To do the configuration. <clears throat> now, so where I want to go, what is the T code? T code is called OB58. So not sure about that. <laughs> iPhone is activated. Siri is activated. So click on your SAP logon. Log on. Then enter username and password. Everyone, if you have any doubt, please note it down aside. I will give you time after the configuration. Before executing FSV, then I will give you time to ask the questions. Please note it down aside. Yeah. <clears throat> everyone, concentrate here, everyone. The T code is called go to uh, OB58. Press enter, OB58, press enter. <clears throat> everyone, this is the T code everyone. What is this? Financial statement version. Financial statement version means here we will design the financial statement like profit and loss account and balance it, okay? So how we will design? Very simple, everyone. Click on your new, I mean, finance new entry. Click on your new entry. Then uh, set up here in up to four digit. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets. Set up here up to four digit. Uh, exam line set up. JM, uh, F, example, J, F, S, V. Sir, is this standard? No, this is not a standard. Here you can set up any four digit, up to four digit. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets. Alpha numerical. Alpha numerical. And now the next is you can write uh, the FSV name. Example, JM Financial Statement Version. The next one here, which language you want? We want English, EN. The next, you want to assign the chart of accounts. So which chart of accounts you want to assign? Example, go to, come to right side here. Whatever chart of accounts you created on OB13, OB13, whatever chart of accounts you created, that chart of accounts you want to assign here. That chart of accounts you want to assign here. 
So this is the chart of accounts we are going to assign to the company codes in the chart of accounts level. Okay, so my chart of accounts is example uh, JM OC, I believe. Otherwise, uh, click on your browse. JM CS. JM CNM, let it be. Click on your browse. And use space down button. Uh, you can assign my one. JM C, JM OC, JM operational chart of accounts. Then press enter, then save everyone. Concentrate here. Set up here up to four digit and write the description and uh, chart of accounts. Give it your chart of accounts, language English, then save. Save. Now we need to set up. What setup we want to do? This setup we want to do. Which setup? This is the setup. Balance sheet, profit and loss account, assets, liabilities, expenses, incomes, blah, 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 etc. So where you want to take this confirmation? This is the confirmation you want to take from your client with the knowledge of your team lead, with the knowledge of your manager. You want to set up calls with your client, Zoom call, Skype calls, or uh, uh, Microsoft Teams, wherever you can ping, ping them. You can send emails, then set up calls. You can ask the information. Before SAP, before SAP implementation on the legacy system, how you are going to generate in the financial statement, what sub objectives is required. You can ask them. Okay, you can analyze that. You can take email confirmation. So based on that, you can design these two things. Design these two things. Okay, so everyone click on your save and click on your financial statement items. Now we require the design menu. Okay, very simple everyone. Click on here. JMSV, first one, create items. Which items you want? I want, example, uh, balance sheet. Balance sheet. Then I want profit and loss account. Profit and loss account. Then click on here, OK. Sure. Even under balance sheet, I require some more. So what do you require? Example, select your balance sheet. Click on your create item. I require assets. And I require liabilities. Then click on your OK. Sure, under profit and loss account, I require some more. What is that? Example, select your profit and loss account. Select what under which you want. Select that one. Example, I'm selecting profit and loss account. Click on your create items. So here I want uh, incomes. And here I want expenses. Expenses. Click on your OK. Click on your OK. Sir, here are under assets, you created something, sir. What is that? Example, fixed assets and current assets. If you want, you can. So select your assets, click on your create items, then we require fixed assets and current assets. Current assets. No, sir, my client is using directly in assets in the profit and loss account and balance sheet. They will not segregate like this. Directly, they will dump assets and liabilities as enough. Then don't create. Okay. No, sir, they will segregate. Then you can create items, accounting items or accounting objectives. Click on your OK. Sir, in liabilities also, liabilities. Click on your create items. Uh, example, long term. 
long term liabilities and short term liabilities. Just listen, everyone. I will give you, okay? You already noted liabilities. In case, if you, if you want, you can create objectives. No, sir. My companies, they will not separate it, the liabilities. Directly, all the liabilities, we have only one report. That's it. Then you will not segregate. If you want, you can. If you don't want, no, not required. Not like that. Okay? So, click on here. Okay. Yes, have short terms, right? Take care of the spelling save you. Click on here. Okay. So what do you people want to understand? Example, everyone, concentrate here. This is my financial statement version. JM financial statement version. And uh, under this, we have two objectives. One is balance sheet and one is profit and loss. Part. Under the balance sheet, we have two objectives assets and liabilities under the profit and loss account we have two things incomes and expenses and sir even incomes also i want to, two or three objectives i want what can i do sir if you want you can click on this and create items you can write that names then it will come if you want no sir i don't want i can find then not required then example example i want under assets these things under liabilities these things so whatever you whatever uh, client is confirmed like this these things you need to create okay sure okay we design this then how you will assign accounts group your target is your target is you want this accounts group you want to assign in the OB58, then where, how you will assign, how you will assign. If you assign this accounts group by default, by default, these GLs will going to assign automatically. If you assign this accounts group by default, automatically all the GLs will going to map here. If you assign this accounts group. Okay, so whatever accounts group you define into the OBD4, under your chart of accounts example everyone and click on your new screen i'm going new screen <clears throat> i'm going ob58 sorry ob ob d4 ob d4 accounts group and click on your position and give it here your chart of accounts, JMOC. So this is my accounts group. One second, everyone. One second, everyone. Yeah. So this is the accounts groups actually, fixed asset, incomes, whatever, blah, blah, sundry, debitor, creditor, all our accounts group from this number to this number. So whatever accounts group you created here, this accounts group you want to map there. Okay, example, all the accounts group, I updated into the Excel actually. In our Excel, we already updated. It's better simply you can copy paste. Okay. In the global parameters, this is the one. <laughs> Define accounts group OBD4. This is the one, everyone. Okay. Example uh, share capital long term asset or short term asset? Example. Example long term and uh, reserves on surplus and secure loan. Example 
this accounts group i want to assign in the long term assign long term liabilities so this is the liabilities actually this is an a liabilities share capital reserves on surplus secured loan these things i created in obd4 same number range i given example you can take this okay and everyone concentrate everyone i want to assign this share capital reserves on surplus and secured loans okay these things i need to create then how to how how i can do that very simple everyone so this is the one right where is that this is the one i mapped this is the one i mapped actually this is my version balance sheet assets and liabilities under the liabilities example long term liability under this we need to assign the accounts group everyone concentrate here concentrate everyone very important you want to explain this flow in the interview you want to explain especially in the client round especially financial statement version if you attend any client round they will ask these things how you are knowledge in fsv why because the end user point of view a uh, financial statement version is very important okay if you attend any client round mainly they will touch in the fsv things okay so please focus on this <clears throat> example i am selecting long term liabilities and click on your assign accounts this one this one first you can select this click on your assign accounts so from number and to number from number and to number so what is the from number this is the from number click on copy paste it here better i am doing copy paste you can write you can type manually from this number to this number i require debit value and credit value debit value credit value if i run fsv i require both values debit values and credit values and even though even though so this sundry secured loans sundry creditors also i will make it as a long term loans example other in case if you have any doubts you can ask your client how you treat like this one how you treat long term or short term then they will suggest you based on that you will do the mapping okay they don't map but they will give suggestions how they are doing under which okay and uh, from and this number to this number Debit, credit, debit, credit, and okay, okay, okay. See here. And if you assign this, whatever GLs you created, na that GLs will going to assign automatically. That GLs will going to assign automatically. GL mapping that will come automatically. Okay, sir. I want to assign similar way short term also. example i have uh, this one uh, current liabilities and uh, tax payable and current liabilities example i treated as a short term example you can take an example okay but in the real time you can take the confirmation from the client how they are treating both are liabilities only all are liabilities only i all are we are creating under liabilities only but under liabilities which one what accounting type what item which G, which accounts group comes under which item you can ask your client they will give suggestions okay based on that you can do the mapping <clears throat> and uh, i can map these two things okay of so select your short term liabilities assign accounts group and copy from this number to 
through this number. This number. Debit item, credit item, debit item, credit item. Then click on your okay. So all the GLs will going to assign automatic. Okay. So GL uh, mapping, accounts group mapping, how the mapping will happen. Okay. Sir, I want to assign X, uh, then, oh, assets not done. Huh? So assets is not done. Fixed asset and current asset. I want to assign assets. So example, <clears throat> I need to assign fixed assets. And uh, example, uh, fixed asset is comes under fixed asset only and from this number to this number fixed asset click on your assign and from this number to this number so sir where you create where you taken this obd4 on accounts group obd4 t code obd4 on accounts group which number you given that number you want to map here don't take other number okay don't take other number whatever number you given on accounts group obd4 that number you want to give here okay so and uh, inventory is a current asset cash and bank is current asset Example, sundry debitors, you will make as a fixed asset. Let it be example, example you can take. From this number to this number. Debit and credit. So tax receivable, like current assets is current asset, okay. These things you can take as a current asset. Then click on your okay. So this is the accounts group. These GLs will automatically go into map. Now I need to assign current asset. So half select this current assets, click on your assign accounts. Then you need to map this, okay? Inventory and cash and bank. This is the current assets, okay? This number to this number. Guys, please note it down if you have any questions. Within five minutes, I can give you time to speak. The next one, uh, even tax receivable and current asset. this one okay so gls will automatically going to map gls whatever gls you created under accounts group under accounts group we will create the gls so that gls will come automatically yeah So next one, sir, profit and loss account. Under profit and loss account, we have the incomes and expenses. So let's assign the incomes and expenses also. Uh, example, even I have one more asset actually. Miscellaneous expenses right off. We have one more ex one more asset, current asset.
miscellaneous expenses right of also is a current asset And uh, the next one, I need to assign expenses and income. So what is the expenses and what is the incomes? So this is the incomes. And incomes from this number to this number. Guys, why I am taking this number means same numbers I taken in the OBD4. That is the reason directly I am doing the copy paste. So whatever number ranges you taken, that number ranges you want to assign. Okay. So, and uh, so I want expense income. Select here income, assign accounts. Then from this number to this number. Debit and credit, debit and credit, debit and credit, debit and credit. Then click on it. Okay. Whatever GLs you created now, that GLs automatically mapped. Even in the future, if you create any GLs, that GLs also will automatically assign here. Why? Because any GLs we will create under accounts group. Okay. The next one is expenses. Okay. Next one is the expenses. So select your expenses, accounts assignment from this number to this number. Debit credit, debit credit debit credit and debit credit click on ok okay all the gls will go into us automatic click on your save and back everyone now time to ask the doubts everyone one by one okay please Hi, Venkat. Uh, this ah, is yes, sir. Tell me, sir. Uh, I want to know one thing. Actually, you are telling that uh, analysis statement was done in the sense of uh, PNL account as well as the mm -hmm. balance sheet. Mm -hmm. But actually, mean will uh, some uh, cash flow statement also is there and retained earnings statement also is there. That we will not consider as a financial statement. For example, that thing you can uh, execute specific GL reports, cash related GL, even cash flow, funds flow will take care by the treasury treasury module people that okay. is not comes under fsc yeah sure sure thank you thank you thank you, thank you sir in case uh, if organization requires uh, for that oh, you can you can execute specific gl's report yeah not an issue thank you thank you thank you sir thank you oh, done oh, good <clears throat> Ah, Sukanya ma'am joined. Ah. Sukanya ma'am joined. Ah. Yes, sir. Following, madam. Following. Yes, sir. Okay, madam. Sir, one question. Ah, yeah, yes, sir. Chandra, sir, tell me. Yeah. So, uh, you mapped all, uh, you know, low, uh, uh, low Iraqi GLs, right? Mm -hmm. How this will sum up to my current uh, total of my current assets? Ah, if you execute the report, all the values will go into synchronized. So that will aggregate under current assets uh, yeah yeah okay okay the Thanks. naming convention will come whatever you are giving here now that naming convention will come. yeah okay okay yeah. so if you run now the report uh, fsv let's let's execute the report and we will okay okay fine sir. hello sir ah, ma'am yes sir. sir after execution are we able to change this mapping sir yeah you can why not okay okay 
For example, okay. last time, just now I forgot one uh, accounts group. Later, mm. I can add it. Mm. Okay. Same way you can. Okay, sir. So. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, cash flow and uh, funds flow, this type of configurations, responsibilities do for the treasury module people. Okay, treasury is a separate module actually. Even they will also do same process. Okay, you can execute the reports in specific uh, GLs and you can provide the reports. So now my final target is everyone to execute F.01. F.01. Now I can ask one question, everyone. Now I will ask one question. Sure. How many types of systems in SAP? Anyone, please, please, anyone who can say? Allowan Yam, tell me. Three types development server, quality server, quality server, server, and production server. Everyone, first we will do this configuration in development server. So, this F.01 we can execute for the testing purpose in the development server. We will, consultant will do this testing. Consultant will execute F.01 on development server. Consultant will execute this F.01 on quality server for the testing purpose. If everything is fine, testing is fine, then this configuration we can move to production system. There, end user will go into execute. On the production system, this F.01, end user will go into execute. But in the development system, quality system for the testing purpose, consultant will consultant only will exist for the testing purpose. So your configuration good or not good? How we will know? Based on your reports generation, accounting entry postings. Accounting entry postings and report generation, nothing but testing. Maybe they will name it as a different, different testing. That will come on the testing project we will discuss. Okay, let's execute F.01. <clears throat> Go to F.01, press enter. And uh, your financial statement. First, you can give your chart of accounts. Note it on one note, everyone. Note it on one note. <clears throat> note it on one note. All the account, uh, sorry, all the document entry postings, all the document entry postings happened at company code level. So during the accounting entry posting, we will select the company code, okay? All the document entry postings happen company code level it means it means it means Financial statement version, financial statement version, we can execute at company code level for external report. Company code level, we can generate and we will submit to the government for external report. Why? Because company code is the legal entity. Company code is the legal entity.
Yeah. So everyone, can you please read the note? For any level. <clears throat> everyone, can you please read the note? Yes, sir. All the document entry posting happened company code level. It means financial statement merger. We can execute at company code level for external report. Why? Because company code is the legal entity. Company code is the legal. Company code is everyone. So try to uh, understand this point, everyone. Company code is the legal entity. Company code is the legal entity. All accounting entry postings we will post at company code level. Let's see, you can remember during the accounting entry posting, always we will select the company code. Why? Because at the end of the day, end of the year, we will generate the financial statement at company code level for external reporting. We need to submit to our government. We want to submit to our government. Okay, so that is the thing actually. So let it be. Let's execute. Very simple, everyone. <laughs> is my voice is audible, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. So go to f dot zero one. F dot zero one. Enter. So give it here your chart of accounts. So did you remember chart of accounts we are assigned in the OB58? We given chart of accounts, we given accounts group, we already did mapping. So same thing you want to take here, chart of accounts. And uh, JMOC, JMOC, then directly you can give the company code, JM10. And come down, come down. Here you want to give, here you want to give your financial statement. I mean, your financial statement version. Just now you created na, your financial statement version, JFSV. Sir, I am unable to remember. Click on your browse in case if you want. So you can select here, okay? Whatever statement you created, J something we created. JM financial statement version. Yeah. So example, reporting year and comparing year. Reporting year 2023 and comparing year 2022. And 1 to 16 months. How many months? 1 to 16. You want to ask one question. Sir, per year 12 months, na, sir, why you selected 1 to 16? Anyone? For special, special ah, periods. So for special for periods. Appreciate for everything. auditing purpose. Appreciate. So after completion of auditing only, we need to generate the financial statement and submit to the government. <laughs> that is done. Okay. So here you need to take 1 to 16 and 1 to 16. Then finally, which layout, which type of reports you want. Example, I want uh, any, you, I will, we will show you all type of things. Example, we want uh, a grid control style. Okay, grid, grid control style. Even there is a different, different layout also. There is a standard layouts is there in case I'm selecting SAP, one SAP standard. If you want, you can select, otherwise keep it as it is. Simply you can select. So I'm giving some inputs, everyone. Chart of accounts, company code, your financial statement version, then reporting year, comparing year, how many months you want, then simply click on here, execute. Then okay. Ten thirty, yeah. All the balances will come here. This is one style actually. This is one style. So even even this report, how to export to the Excel? How to export to the PDF? PDF or Excel? How how we will do that? Very simple. Go to list, then export then local file and select your spreadsheet then okay and uh, where you want to save dictionary i want to save in the desktop 
then click on your okay so, so what is the name example jmfsv dot in case if you want to export in the excel what is the standard after the name dot xls this is the standard after naming convention if you want to export to the excel you want to give after your name any name any name you can give but after the name you want to enter dot xls excel okay click on your create so all the things will go to the excel so later they will do some modifications but that is our objectives so here here it will stay so from now onwards you want to know the excel from now onwards the end users will do a lot of changes even in the balance sheet also so they will do some changes maybe sometimes all the things will go into updated year balance sheet and profit and loss and blah 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 such even you can select different uh, style go back go back and i, I don't want to this layout cell i want different layout classical layout select your classical layout and click on your execute and this is a classical layout actually and go back no sir even i am not interested this also i am interested one more you can select uh, example al with tree control tree control here there is a standard layout is there one sap and as a as a structured balance list this is the trees layout section select any one and click on your execute example two things i have one is balance sheet and one is profit and loss account under the balance sheet we have uh, this many things assets and liabilities assets fixed asset and current assets fixed assets this many values current assets these values and liabilities long term liabilities and short term and this is the balances come down and profit and loss account incomes and expenses and uh, expenses so this is the layout section you want to select the layouts okay everyone time to ask the doubts yeah venkat venkat here sir tell me sir uh venkat ji uh, shall we change the fsp uh, i mean uh, so we are all created with some balance sheet and uh, ah, you can uh, see this is not for example f.01 is the not a document entry posting that mm -hmm. is the report okay sir, no no i am not asking about f.03 uh, uh, just i am asking about fsp just which we are created okay. ob58 OB yeah? OB ah, you can you can if you want you can change yeah Ah, uh, just means we can the uh, deletions and we can modification. Ah, uh, you can, can yeah. Right? Answer is yes. You can try it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Same question. Some ma'am also asked actually. I'm sorry. Just I didn't okay. go to okay. that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is that profit center level reporting also taken from? That is a different model. That is a different. that this is external reporting purpose that is internal reporting purpose go and check in the information system for internal reporting yeah thanks everyone if you do not have any doubts then we will meet tomorrow uh, thank yeah, any you doubts, uh, thank you doubts uh, thank no you thank you no doubts thank you yeah yeah bye sir okay bye. good night thank you good night bye good night